Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following limit. So let's start with 1. Limit of x minus 1 over the square root of x minus 1 as x approaches 1. So we can always try to evaluate the given expression here at the value of x that it is approaching to and check if the value exists. So if we try to substitute x is 1 to every x here, we will have 1 minus 1 over the square root of 1 minus 1. So we will have 1 minus 1 is 0 over square root of 1 is 1 minus 1, 0. So we have 0 over 0 which is an indeterminate form. So we cannot accept this value of limit. So let's try to rationalize first the given expression. So we can multiply both numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator square root of x minus 1. So the conjugate of square root of x minus 1 is simply copy the first and second term square root of x and 1, make the operation in between opposite of minus which is plus. And then copy this same expression on the numerator. So if we multiply numerator times numerator, so let's just put them together x minus 1 times quantity square root of x plus 1 over, so when we multiply the denominators, we can have the difference of two squares. So all we need to do is to square the first term, which is square root of x. So we'll have square root of x squared minus the square of the second term, 1, 1 squared. So we will have x minus 1 square root of x plus 1 over square root of x squared, that will be x minus 1 square, that will be 1. So notice that we can cancel out this x minus 1. So we are left with square root of x plus 1. Now, if we try to get the limit of this simplified version square root of x plus 1, as x approaches 1, we try to reevaluate this expression at x is 1. So we will have square root of 1 plus 1, or square root of 1 is 1 plus 1, or 2. Therefore, we have a real value, which is 2, and this will also be the value of the original limit. For number 2, we have limit of the square root of x plus 9 minus 2 over x plus 5 as x approaches negative 5. If we try to evaluate this expression at x is negative 5, we will have square root of negative 5 plus 9 minus 2 over negative 5 plus 5. So we will have square root of negative 5 plus 9, that will be square root of 4 minus 2 over negative 5 plus 5, 0. And square root of 4 minus 2, that will be 2 minus 2 or 0. So we have 0 over 0 again, another indeterminate form. So we cannot accept this value of the limit. So let's try to rationalize the given expression. So let's multiply both numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the numerator, the one with the radical expression. So the conjugate of square root of x plus 9 minus 2 will be square root of x plus 9 opposite sign of minus plus and then copy the 2. Copy this expression also on the denominator. So if you multiply the numerators, we will just have the difference of two squares because they are conjugate of each other. So we just get the square of the first term, x plus 9, quantity square, minus the square of the second term, 2 square. Over, so let's just multiply, put them together, the product of x plus 5 and square root of x plus 9 plus 2. So if you simplify this, numerator so we can cancel out this square root we are left with x plus 9 minus 2 squared that's 4 over the same denominator x plus 5 times square root of x plus 9 plus 2 if you simplify x plus 9 minus 4 that's x plus 5 right over x plus 5 times square root of x plus 9 plus 2. So we can cancel out this x plus 5. 
So, we are left with 1 on the numerator over the denominator square root of x plus 9 plus 2. Now, let's try to find the limit of this simplified expression as x approaches negative 5. So, let's try to evaluate this expression at x is negative 5. So, we will have 1 over the square root of x negative 5 plus 9 plus 2. So, we will have 1 over square root of negative 5 plus 9, that's 4, plus 2. Or we will have 1 over square root of 4 is 2 plus 2 or 1 over 2 plus 2, 4. So, therefore, the value exists, which is equal to 1 fourth. So, this will be the value of the limit as well. Okay, so now it's your turn. So, try to evaluate this limit and just comment your answers.